So in this video we're going to look at how to physically connect items to the micro bit. So we've got our micro bit here. Now one of the areas that we haven't looked at are these at the bottom, these holes and these kind of sections with numbers on them. Uh, those are called pins and they allow you to connect uh, electronic items to the micro bit using um, wires particularly ones with crocodile clips on and that's what we're going to have a look at we're going to have a brief little look at how we can attach some things to the micro bit so the first program we're going to look at is by pressing a button getting a buzzer to run so for this um, particular bit of code you can see that I've gone back to the block editor um, this is because it's a little bit easier to show in the block editor so on the uh, preview here we can see our pins and what we need to do is we need to change the state of these pins. Now, at the moment, they're set to zero, and zero is off. So when we set them to one, one turns them on. So I'm going to put an input. I'm going to have button A pressed. And I'm going to say on my pins, digital right, and then that pin. So that's going to say... Digital right, 0 or 1, so it tells us we can only have a 0 or 1, 1 to pin 0. So that's going to turn pin 0 on. So pin 0 here is on. I'm then going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to go pins at right digital 0, 1, and I'm going to change it to 0. So that turns it off. Okay, and I want to change that to the B button as well. So at the moment, that's a really simple program that turns the pin on with the A button and then the pin off with the B button. So I now need some uh, more electronic items for this particular task. Obviously I need my battery pack um, to power it. I also need some wires. So I've got two wires here. Okay, and finally I need a buzzer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect the buzzer up to the micro bit. So I'm going to take my green wire and I'm going to make my green wire be the positive. So that's going to go to pin 0 because pin 0 is the pin that we turned on. So it's the first pin. So if I take my crocodile clip and I clip that to pin 0. And then I'm going to take that and that needs to go to the positive end of the buzzer. So the positive end of the buzzer is the black one. So I'll get that my black wire, which is coming off the end of my buzzer. And I'm going to clip onto there. That will go on. It does. doesn't seem to want to go on. There we go. That doesn't want to go on. I'll clip it this way. There we go, that's clipped on. So to my negative end of the buzzer, I'll take my other wire. I'll plug that into the negative end. And then that needs to go onto, on here, the section down there that says ground at the far end. Okay, so I have now created my circuit that looks like this. Okay, it goes from the pin zero down to the positive of the buzzer, and then from the negative of the buzzer, the red one, it goes into ground. So let's put a power in. this. Now if I press the A button, it's quite hard to hear but that buzzer is going off because there's not loads of power in the micro bit. Um, it's not very loud. And if I press the B button, the buzzer goes off. You might be able to hear a clicking of the buzzer going on and the buzzer going off. An easier way to see what's happening is to use an LED. Okay. So I'm going to un I'm going to take these off. So I've now got a broken circuit. I'm now going to use an LED. So I've got an LED here, a nice red one. Don't worry, we have plenty of colours. What I need to remember to do is to connect those to the positive to the longer side and the negative to the shorter side. However, 
that's going to break because there is actually, although there's not much power, there's still too much power going through that micro bit. Um, so it will break it. So what we need is we need a resistor to knock down the current. So I have here as well a resistor. And I also need another wire um, to get those touched in circuit. So I've got another wire as well here. So from my micro bit, the wire coming from the positive from pin zero is going to go onto the transistor. Sorry, not the transistor, the resistor. The other wire is going onto the other side of the resistor. So we put it connected up. So this is still positive. So the positive needs to go to the longer side. You might be able to see there's a shorter side and a longer side. The longer side of the LED. You have to be really careful not to get any of the crocodile clips touching the other side. Then the negative side, which goes here into our ground, goes to the shorter side, which is the negative side. The LED. Now, when I press my button, uh, let's see there's a slight touch there. There we go. When I press my button, the LED comes on. Okay, you might not be able to see that amazingly. When I press it, the LED goes off. So the LED goes on, and the LED goes off. And all we're doing is we're using the pins and the crocodile clips to connect items and to create a circuit going around and we're using our coding to turn the pin on or turn the pin off. So that is the next stage to start exploring with electronics what we can do with our micro bits.